Hello and welcome to Assorted Meeples. I'm Philip the Meeple on duty. This is the monthly Meeple, and we're all here. Alrighty, getting right into it. News this month that caught my attention is Asmodee wrote down a bunch of debt just to uh, cover some things. And company that owned the news channels of Dicebreaker, Game uh, game Industry, Rock Paper Shotgun, and others uh, was purchased by IGN, which then turned around and made a bunch of people redundant, which means they fired them. And uh, so, yeah, you're going to have less... The websites will still be there. They'll still be cranking out articles, I'm sure. But you'll have less options of actual independent news as far as that goes. Other things that have happened are the Golden Geek Awards happened and were announced over on Board Game Geek. Uh, Board Game Geek, if you don't know, is pretty much the premier conglomerate website for board games that is uh, more of a forum than it is anything else, and a database more than anything else. And the winners were all announced, so I'm going to run down some of these. If I see anything that's amazing, um, I might talk about it a little more. Uh, Sky Team, Sky Team I have. I haven't played yet. Read the rules. Sounds really interesting. That won the two-player of the game, two-player game of the year award. Um, artwork and presentation, the Castles of Burgundy Special Edition, I would agree. The artwork and the presentation on that game is absolutely stellar. Cooperative game was Sky Team because it is a cooperative two-player game, and it is... Everything I've heard tells me it's really good. Arc Nova Marine Worlds for expansion, I haven't played that one, so I don't know. I didn't get any real expansion playtime in. Innovative Hegemony Lead Your Class to Victory. Now, I may need to look into this one because that sounds like a game the Meeples may be really f find really enjoyable. Light Game of the Year, Thunder Road Vendetta, Medium Game of the Year, Earth, and Heavy Game was Hegemony. Now, none of those surprise me. Party Game, that's not a hat. I heard that is actually really, really fun. Solo Game of the Year, Legacy of You, which it's a Garpill game, so I'm assuming it was top notch thematic was hegemony lead your class victory and war game was battle for undaunted battle for of britain and now i'm even more curious to get into the undaunted series and once i play the original two then i can possibly talk myself into buying more until i play the i'm not going to uh, and then Best Podcast was One Stop Co-op Shop, and Best Board Game App was the Unmatched Digital Edition. I think these are awesome because these are voted on by BGG users, and that really shows you who think who everybody thinks is doing really well. Now let's kick it over to Callahan and see what he is up to. Thank you, Phil. Um, for me... It's pretty much same as it's always been uh, for the last couple of updates there. Um, I just got my ass handed to me in a game of Bunny Kingdom. I tried a new strategy uh, where I used Pan Pan the Barbarian, which is collecting uh, territories that don't produce resources or have cities on them. Um, and I got whooped. 217 to 135 in a heads-up game. Now, um, granted, 217 is a great score for Bunny Kingdom, but that was still a wide margin. I don't think that that, that is the way that I should go in the future. Um, she's also pulled ahead, my glorious wife has pulled ahead in all other games that we've been playing. So, um, I was fighting dirty, for the last month. And I pulled ahead a little bit, uh, and then she had enough of it and started using the same tricks that I was using. And now she's eked out ahead. She's ahead in Splendor and Bunny Kingdom and Golem Century Edition. So 
Um, what else do we have? Uh, the RPG, um, Mothership uh, Corridor. Uh, I mentioned that uh, in our last monthly update here, and I've dug into it a little bit more. It is just as gritty as uh, what I had hoped. It's a nice sci-fi dystopian horror RPG. Um, you can play, you know, whatever you would you would normally think. But one of the things that I liked about it, it relies a lot more on storytelling mode. And because it is a high tension RPG, there's a lot of turnover rate with your characters dying. And they have uh, three tenants that they base all of their their games on, and that is survive, save, and solve. Right? There's mysteries or puzzles or elders horrors or who killed everyone on the ship. There's always a mystery to solve, and there's always somebody that needs saving, but also surviving. The way that they design their games or the way that they recommend you do it is that a good game they can achieve one to two of those objectives. Um, and what that means is if your character survived, there's going to be a lot of mental trauma. So, um, <laughs> cause you can be the hero and, you know, save all of the orphans that needed saving and figure out the mystery, but that's two of the three. So you're not going to survive the battle or you might choose to survive and you might figure out what the big bad is, but all those orphans are going to have to die, right? <laughs> you know, so it's a. Uh, um, I do like the uh, the choices that the characters have to make. I think it's a a great addition. I still haven't dug through all of the books yet. I'll give you guys a more detailed rundown on that once I once I have. But that's uh, in short, that's my monthly update. Uh, just getting my ass handed to me by the misses in every game that we play and uh, digging in more to a new tabletop RPG. So, um, simple month for me. So, back to you, Phil, and take it away. Thank you, Callahan, for that rant. And, obviously, Crystal is the better player, so we'll just move on from that. There are a lot of games coming up on campaigns for crowdfunding coming up very soon that I'm very interested in. If you're interested in what games those are, it's down, I'll put a link down in the description to that video and you can go check them out for yourself. They all look really amazing. Unfortunately, I don't know how many of them I can say yes to responsibly say yes to. Irresponsibly, I could say yes to them all, but that won't get me anywhere and probably piss Heather off really bad. So I'm not going to do that because I try to be a good hubby. All right, let's go over to the business end and see what he is up to. All right, then. So that's how we're doing this. Sorry, Phil. Uh, my gaming news is at least somewhat more substantial on the grounds that I actually have something. So first things first, uh, Fallout New Vegas being streamed at various times, including bonus streams on the... Uh, Twitch platform that we use typically Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, but we are in fact getting that done more often right now because there's a lot to do in New Vegas as it happens. And uh, crazy melee cowboy samurai has to go around continuing his war with the geckos. Very necessary. Kill all the geckos. All of them. They're all problems. And then after that, uh, Gen Con, right, that thing that we've been talking about all day in the Discord. So Gen Con dropped their event schedule and actually let us start getting tickets for from our wish lists this afternoon, which was awesome. I got into both of the events I was looking for, so very excited about that. Phil and Heather, I know, got about half of theirs. And then, I feel like there was one more thing, one more little itty bitty thing. Oh, yes. Upgrading the set. We're getting the first steps on that moving, hopefully this week. Getting an electrician in here to start putting outlets up on the ceiling and around the room so that we don't have to run as many extension cords all over the place. We also have been stress testing some of our... Uh, 
mounting rods. We got a big old five and a half foot, one and a half inch diameter aluminum rod. And I put 40 pounds of weight on it and took a look at it after four hours. And looks like it's going to hold a bunch of stuff without any significant problems. So very excited about that. Beyond that, I don't really have a whole lot else to report right now. I mean, we're filming this a little early because Phil's taken off for Parts Unknown, a.k.a. Alaska, for a few weeks. So you're getting about two-thirds of May from me at this point, but that means you'll get the last third and all of June from me next month. So hopefully I'll have a bunch of cool stuff to report on by then. Maybe we'll even have the studio work done by then. Fingers crossed. Very excited about that. Anyhow, back to you, Phil. Thank you, Braden, and it has been an absolute delight watching you murder geckos. Actually, I should say, it's been an absolute delight watching you get rocked by geckos or rat scorpions or whatever decides to jump out and make you squeal like a little girl. And board games for me this month have been a little sparse. Um, we just got done playing Gollum, or Century Gollum Edition, and I got wrecked at that because I got out of practice. I haven't played in a long time. And I got real bad out of practice. And it is what it is. The Heather, me and Heather have been planning a trip and getting ready for it. And when Heather gets stressed, that board games go out the window. We did get to go on our date for uh, completing 5211 on our 5 by 10 challenge. We also got a gameplay of La Corsa in which, man, La Corsa is such a good game. Very simple, but such a good game overall. Um, I It's one that like you don't think about very much, but when you play, you're like, man, I understand why this is such a good game right now. Now let's head over to the Corrupt Corner and see what he's been up to for the month. Gaming news. Gaming news. Like Nintendo stock being up an eighth of a cent? Oh, what I'm doing. Uh, let's see. What I've been doing in gaming this month. What I've been doing in gaming. Um, according to Steam, I played Carry the Seven, Steal the Bit from Brayden, Six Hairs Past My Right Wrist. 0, 0.0 hours this month. Huh. Hey, Brain, do those tic-tac-toe games count as gaming news? No! How about that game of which finger am I holding up when your back is turned? That's not a game, that's just daily life with you. Yeah. It used to be a game, but then you never missed. So there's, like, no competition. Gaming news, gaming news. Ah, uh, yeah, right. That thing that we're supposed to do for Phil for reason. Why do we still keep him around? Right, because I got a job and we still need four at the table. Right. Um, balance. Um, huh. Design the tabletop RPG th stuff is for patrons. Something, something, something. How much of Phil's time can I waste before he just cuts me off? I bet that's where it happens in the edit. Probably. Or maybe not. He's not that good in the editor, let's be honest. I'm not throwing shade, because if I do, it becomes my problem. Look, he's a B tier, but, you know, he, he hasn't quite got the A tier timing yet. Gaming. Oh, I'm not playing Baldur's Gate 3. This is, that's just doing Fury 8 Falk if he's watching. I'll get an angry comment. That's how you know if he is or not. You're not wrong. Also, I haven't played that other game he gifted me two years ago. I really should get to that because I looked all kinds of insane. Um, gaming plans. Gaming plans. Now I got nothing this month. Back to you, Phil. Oh, shit. We're back. Um, 
Yeah, that sounded very interesting, Shane. Thank you so much. As I were about to sign off here, I just need to say thank you to Madclaw, Trident Dragonite, Tribbles, Fuzzy Box, Kronos, and Beelzebuddy. Thank you guys for your enduring support. It means the world to us. If you haven't already, go over and check out our Patreon link in the, link in the description. Come join us over on our Discord server. Dollar a month gets you in the door. Five dollars gets you a month a monthly uh, board game table. And looking at my calendar here, it will be June fourteenth. Will be our patrons' night. So circle that. If you're watching this still at this point in the video, uh, June 14th, somewhere in the evening, we'll meet up and we're going to play some games. I mean, I won't because I'll be off on vacation, but the other three meeples and you guys will. So, have a good night and we will see you next time. Alright, mm, bye. I think that went well. Very professionally. Sure, let's go with that. I mean, this is way more professional than that, so we were upgrading. And I guess, technically. If we actually use B-roll footage, this would be a gem right now. Yeah, well, we yeah. don't. We should. I should be looking at patrons, extra patrons in this month. Just get used to throwing them some stuff. Yeah. Assuming Phil hasn't cut the video at this point. I mean, he could do the video and then keep the B-tier stuff for the patrons. Like, that's what a real editor would do. He could do that. He won't. Nah. But he could. He could. Yeah. Anywho. Hmm. Yeah, whole month without playing games. I should probably change that at some point. Anyhow, it's been a month. Do you have something, or is this going to be a really short video? I mean, I at least have something more than... I did nothing and I'm all out of ideas. Ah, uh, shame. We could have been consistent. That would have been really funny.